God said, I want to bless all the families on earth. I want to bless them through you. God's trying to bless people through you, all families. Let's just state the obvious. It means every race, every color, whether they're rich, whether they're poor, whether we're educated or uneducated, young, mature, or anything else that this world wants to use to bring division within us, to carve us out from one another. All of those things, it means all of us, every single family, which means that there isn't a family that God doesn't want to bless. And we as God's church need to recognize that more than ever. And if we can, I believe that we can be people who are part of healing in our generation, because here's what I know, God wants us to be a part of healing in this generation. In fact, Peter is actually painting a picture here. He's saying that the church, the followers of Jesus, were always meant to be the example of what racial unity looks like, because all peoples all peoples come to the foot of the cross and experience the same grace, the same mercy, the same goodness, and the same love of God is poured out over each one of us at the foot of that cross. And God calls each one of us sons and daughters of his this is what the church was always meant to be. With Jesus, there are no exclusions based on race or color or any other differences or divisions that people want to call out and recognize today. There is no caste system where there's someone who's better, just a little bit better than this person, a little bit better than this person, a little bit better than... No, no, no. There is no system like that in Jesus. We're all equal. We say, well, what are you saying? I'm saying all of us have the same value, which is incredible when you think about it. Well, what's the value of each one of us? The value each one of us is worth. Get this, the life of Jesus, the son of the living God, paid for you, paid for the next person that you see that walks into your room or that you pass in the car that you drive by, the next person that you happen to come across or that comes to your mind, what are those, what's their value? Their value, their value is the life of Jesus. What an incredible picture. And you know what? When I think about this as a church, when a group of people in our country would raise up and just say, do you think that we have value when black people in our own nation rise up and they ask the question, do you think we have value? The answer of the church is, of course. Jesus gave his life for every one of you. Your life is precious. And you are my brother and sister in Christ because when we kneel at that cross, that's who you and I become, as brothers and sisters in Christ. And our message as the church is to bring that blessing to all people. All families on the earth are meant to be blessed through you as a follower of Jesus. And here we stand as the church in our generation with open arms for anyone who would come and ask, what does God think of me? What is God's value on my life? And we would have the answer. The answer is he values you so much, he was willing to give his one and only son, Jesus, in exchange for your life. That's the value that the Father places on you.